Welcome to Voodoo Underground, the only competition where we put high school students head to head competing to earn valuable scholarship dollars. We're in the semifinals and this is the first round. Competing today, Armwood High School, going against the students of Robinson. Get ready, grab your Mies, light your pilots, Let's voodoo. All right, we've seen these burgers in the preliminary rounds, but we did have an opportunity for students to tweak their burgers. You good, Sonny? Yeah. Did you turn the other burner on? Yeah. All right, appreciate it. They couldn't change their burgers, but they were able to make some upgrades. If they thought their sauce was too runny or if it needed a little more, they, gave, they had the opportunity to go ahead and make those slight updates. We're gonna check in and just really talk to these chefs and see what they had done. Yesterday, when you asked us the question of what we would change, we said we would add more bacon, and that's what we've done. We've actually got, been brought in um, bacon to put on more on our burger. There. You know, the way you put that red on that blend of beef, you good? I'm just making sure it's real hot. I got you, man. You had that look on your face, like, stop talking to me. <laughs> no. All right, so you're getting your griddle real hot. While you're getting your griddle super duper hot, tell us about your patty. So you guys have a 60-40 beef to bacon blend, which is absolutely exciting. Yeah. And go ahead. No, you want, you want to hear more about it. That's what I want to hear, man. Uh, and you put red all over that. What are you doing now? I'm Educate just, us. I'm just smashing the burger, put an onion on, and then put the patty on top. And now. Uh, just let it sit there for a couple, one minute or two. You got your mise en place all laid out again. I absolutely love how, how tight you guys keep your station and all the mise en place. And I'm over here eyeballing your bacon because it is one of my favorites. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, D, that's a uh, Voodoo Magic candy bacon. Yes, sir. Can you talk me through that? Because we didn't get to hear about this on the first go around. No, so recently we were thinking about it because I, you know, I've done this idea a couple of times, but it's basically brown sugar, and because we didn't have magic, we put voodoo red, brown sugar, and regular sugar. In. Wait a minute, so you kind of bootlegged your own voodoo magic? We had to, we didn't have time. <laughs> I love it. I think we recreated it perfectly fine. So, so based off your past experience and your flavor palette, you took the voodoo red, made your own magic, and candied your bacon. Now, is this the same blend of bacon put inside? The patties? Yes, sir. Man, that is just absolutely amazing. Now, don't be leaking oil and telling all the secrets about the voodoo. My fault. I won't say any more. You say as much as you want. And I absolutely love the avocado tomato salad. Uh, where'd that come from? We were shouting ideas for our burger when, you know, the first competition was told to us. And we were kind of trying something like fresh, but with, you know, spicy in it. And we just kind of came up with the vinaigrette when we were making a salad bar for our teachers. We were just like, why don't we put this on the burger? And then we kind of added the avocado last minute, but I think it came through really well. Oh, it's amazing. And if you guys don't recall, these high school culinary programs do open up cafes on their school sites where they serve faculty members and, and people from the outside can actually come in making the proper arrangements and eat the foods that the students prepare. It's super cool to come in and watch these we'll call them mini restaurants in action, where students get live experience serving customers, which, you know, tough to do. It's tough to do. All right, so let's check in with the Knights over here. Compared to yesterday, I think we're gonna keep, for the most part, everything the same. Um, we're definitely gonna change the temperature for the buns, for testing the buns. We're gonna keep it a bit lower so that there isn't a lot of smoke. So we've got the buns hitting the grill. We already see the smoke happening. Now, is the smoke just for effect? Because we had the same uh, same experience in the preliminaries. Is the smoke for effect? Did you plan that? I mean, it's a jerk burger. We want to just like really put it over the top, emulate that old. Yeah, old. we want a little char to it. You want a little char to it. You're gonna get yeah. that nice char on the outside. Yeah, when you when you get that char on that outside, and it combines with the seasoning, we get the Maillard reaction on that on that hamburger, that's where all the flavor comes from, right? Yep. So tell us what we got on the outside of this. You guys are the Voodoo Nola burger. Yeah. Why did you pick the Voodoo Nola? Because it, I feel like it has that sort of Cajun seasoning that we were looking for to make this jerk burger. So we just wanted to the, like put that in the seasoning. Voodoo Nola is our Creole seasoning and uh, you definitely had the right application going on here. I know originally you guys were we're starting with your own, or did you go with your own? So initially, when we were making our own, we didn't go with the Voodoo Jerk Sauce, but we decided to go with the Voodoo Jerk Sauce because it kind of gave um, more sweetness and um, it kind of offset the tang of the slaw a bit more. To kind of like this with the pineapple was just like the perfect combination. 
You know, when you talk to people about jerk, a lot of them go, oh my God, I love jerk. And then they, you give them a traditional jerk and they're like, oh my God, it's woody and it's so hot. And I, I just don't, that's what jerk is. So when we created the voodoo jerk, we decided to Americanize it a little bit. And that's where you're getting that sweetness. I love that you were able to pick that up, not only pull it out, but find the proper application to counteract the acidity in that coleslaw. That's awesome. Uh, I hope you guys kill it. I will. I know you're going to kill it. Let me know when you're ready. I'm about to put the bacon on. First one out? Yeah. Okay. How's the pineapples looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. You got it? Yeah. Big old bacon. You can put all your energy into cooking and just put all your time and focus into it. And it's like a way to express creativity. All right. I'm going to sauce up the buns. Okay. I love the swirl on the jerk sauce. It's not just about putting it on there. You gotta put it on with style. You heard? They're getting too big. I know, it's because the patty's too big. So I don't know what you want to do, man. About five of the burgers are almost done. All right, if you have five set, I can put them on. All right, these are ready too, dude. Go on. Um, so yesterday, it got a little bit of fire everywhere, so I need to watch out for that and a lot of smoke coming out. But today, I'm gonna be worried about that. I mean, wor wary about that. We're full on, full on smoke up in here again. Uh, this is the first of the semifinal rounds. We have one more semifinal competition after that, but this one is all about the students from Armwood and Robinson uh, going at it, letting us know how they voodoo. We're gonna have to see how it turns out. I can't tell you. I'm super excited because I get to eat them all. Make sure you see the end of this thing. It's gonna be crazy.